The Tale of Luna and the Magic Star Once upon a time, in a small village nestled between rolling hills and a shimmering lake, there lived a little girl named Luna. Luna had a heart full of dreams and a head full of wonder. Every night, she would lie on a grassy hill just outside her village and gaze up at the stars, wishing she could visit them one day. One evening, as the sky turned from pink to deep blue, Luna noticed something strange. Among the twinkling stars, one shone brighter than all the others. It was as if it was calling out to her. Glowing in a soft, warm light, Luna blinked, and to her amazement, the star began to drift down from the sky. It floated gently, like a feather, until it landed right in front of her. Luna gasped. The star wasn't big and burning like she had imagined. Instead, it was small and round, about the size of a pebble, and it hummed with a gentle glow. Hello, Luna, the star said in a soft, tinkling voice. I'm Stardust, the magic star. I've come to take you on a special journey. Luna's eyes sparkled with excitement. A journey? To where? She asked. To wherever your heart wishes, Stardust replied. Climb aboard, and we'll fly across the sky. Without a second thought, Luna gently scooped Stardust into her hands. As soon as she touched the star, a shimmering light surrounded her, and with a whoosh, she was lifted into the air. The world below grew smaller and smaller as they soared higher and higher until they were among the stars. Luna marveled at the beauty around her. The sky was filled with swirling galaxies, twinkling comets, and glowing planets. Stardust led the way, flying through constellations that danced in the night. First, they visited the moon, where Luna met the moon queen, a gentle, silver-haired lady who offered Luna a cup of moonlight tea. The tea sparkled like diamonds and tasted like her favorite sweets. The moon queen told Luna stories of ancient times when the stars and the earth would sing together. In harmony. Next, they flew past the Milky Way, where they found the Rainbow River, a beautiful stream of color flowing through space. Luna dipped her fingers in the river, and it left trails of color in the air that glowed for miles. Stardust showed her how to ride the rainbow, and together, they slid down its arc, laughing all the way. Finally, they reached a distant planet made entirely of clouds. The Cloud Kingdom was ruled by King Nimbus, a fluffy, friendly king who invited Luna to a royal feast of cotton candy clouds and honeydew rain. The Cloud Kingdom was magical, filled with cloud creatures that floated lazily and danced in the soft winds. But as they floated high above the Cloud Kingdom, Luna suddenly remembered her village, the people she loved, her cozy home and her hill where she watched the stars. I've had so much fun, Luna said to Stardust, but I miss my home. Stardust twinkled softly, then it's time to return. But remember, you can always visit the stars again. They'll be waiting for you. With a swirl of light, they flew back to the earth, descending gently onto the grassy hill where Luna had first found Stardust the night was calm and the stars twinkled quietly in the sky. Thank you, Stardust, Luna said, her heart full of joy and adventure. You're welcome, Luna, the little star replied. Whenever you look up at the sky, just remember, I'll be watching over you. And with that, Stardust floated back into the sky, joining the other stars, shining brightly as ever. From that day on, Luna would often lie on her favorite hill looking up at the stars, her heart full of wonder. She knew that no matter where her dreams took her, the magic of the stars would always be with her. And so, Luna's adventures never truly ended, for the night sky held endless possibilities. And her heart, like the stars, shone with the magic of dreams. The End